Namaste and welcome all my viewers to another fortnightly tarot card reading with Rashmi. Let's see what is in store for each one of you. Since in the last video, a lot of you shared the video and requested us to give an elaborate reading for Leo, Virgo and Scorpio, we will expand a little bit on their readings. So let's begin. As usual with Aries. So Aries, there is somebody in your environment who is taking charge and who is very protective of you and very possessive about you. I think it's time to uh, distance yourself, not distance yourself, take your own uh, problems to yourself, uh, take your own responsibility on your own self and feel empowered because you are finally taking charge. So this is a card of somebody protecting you but you are also taking charge. Then there is the hangman. Like I told you last time, this hangman is a very mystical card, a very different sort of a card. So it's also letting go, it's also sacrifice and it's also feeling happy with whatever. Mm -hmm. Just hanging loose and in a state of flux. right? So um, you are letting go also but in, in a, you're still in that state of inertia. Right? Uh, and you're taking charge like I said. So there are two different cards actually, opposed cards. One is that you are taking charge and one is you are letting go and being in a state of stasis. But there is one card which says in your work front, you have to be very careful. See a lot of uh, maybe new, a new venture is coming to you, a lot of other opportunities are coming to you. But you have to be very careful. You have to read between the lines in case you are signing a contract. It's very important this fortnight that you be careful and don't be gullible, read between the lines and read every document very carefully if you are going to be signing onto something new. And then it says, a, uh, this card is a very beautiful card, it says that be happy with even the small things of life. Mm -hmm. The You know, the more you thank the universe and the more you appreciate little, little things, the more blessings you are going to get. That's all for you, Aries. So a lot of gratitude, Aries, that you need to yeah. get into your life to see wonderful things. Now let's see the cards that have come out for Taurus. Taurus, you're feeling low energy levels because there's a lot of hectic activity. I see a lot of hectic activity and trying to plan many things. Maybe you have your fingers in too many pies at the same time, mm -hmm. uh, which is a good thing because it's keeping you busy. But on the same um, on the uh, same side, you are feeling a little low. Energy levels are a little low. So I suggest that you do a little pranayam, do deep breathing exercises, especially first thing in the morning when you wake up. That's important for you. And uh, do not trust somebody in your environment, especially in your business environment. Maybe uh, somebody is trying to pull wool over your eyes. I feel so. Try and be a little more discerning. Okay, so don't trust too blindly, that's what I mean. And uh, the truth will be uncovered, that's for sure. Uh, because of your too much of hectic activity your, and your low energy levels, there's this dull energy. Uh, so what you can do is remove that dull energy, keep a, a black tourmaline crystal mm -hmm. right next to you. I had one there. So, uh, But if you can't get hold of a black tourmaline crystal, you can just light a black candle. Whichever day you remember, for however long time you want, maybe for 15 minutes, half an hour, one hour, that really helps to ward off the yin energy. Okay. The yin. Okay. Okay. So now let's see what is in store for the next sign, which is Gemini. Geminians, you are bored, you know, so, <laughs> so a lot of us are bored uh, these days. And you are discontent, or maybe you are just evaluating something. Not bored really, you, uh, you know, you are evaluating something. You are not very sure. Maybe there are doubts in your mind and somebody is trying to manipulate you. You feel that, that somebody is being sneaky. You are all there, you know, you are very sharp and you know that somebody is trying to manipulate you. So you will not get into that situation. So I am not worried for Geminis. Plus there is a beautiful card. Which one is it? This is a windfall. Oh, okay. yeah, so, so money is really coming unexpectedly from wow. somewhere. But some of you may be expecting it also. So it could be an inheritance, it could be through your hard work or something that was due to you. 
or that was stuck. So mm -hmm. that is coming to you and for some of you it would be just unexpected. Okay. And emotionally you are on a high strength, you know you are highly strung emotionally. So try and control your emotions I feel, agar bati jalao, uh, you know in your east. Okay. Light incense in your east and also uh, you can use camphor. Okay. Camp and at what time of the day should they do this? In the morning. In the morning. Morning is a good time. Also, make that decision now. It's a decision making time. Okay. This fortnight, you must make a decision. Okay. So now we come down to Cancer, my sun yeah. sign. Yeah, okay. Nelakshi sun sign. Yeah. Cancer. <laughs> so, Cancerians, your work is a little erratic. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it's going smooth. And sometimes, you know, it's happening in bits and starts. And you're quite discontented because of that. You know, you're a very hard working person, uh, Cancerian. And especially you, Nilakshi, this reading is, it seems as if I'm just doing it for you. But if this is for generally all Cancerians, yes, and I wanted to also say that these general uh, readings for all the sun signs are very generic. Yeah. So please take what resonates with you yes. and discard the rest. Yes. Because uh, my clients that come to me one-on-one -on -one readings, they are much, uh, who do one-on-one -on -one readings, they are much more exact. Hmm. You know, I can even predict the day and the time and the, uh, you know, the date, the year. Right. But uh, for when you're doing it for a multitude of people, like there's a multitude of Cancerians out there right. like you. So therefore they have to only take what resonates with them. Right. So I feel your work is a little erratic and a little in bits and starts. And because of this maybe your stress level, you're, you're overworked and your stress levels are a little high. Right. So, uh, so that to boost your confidence, sometimes you feel low. Then why is this not happening? Why is this not going forward? Cancer. So uh, have patience. One card says that just have patience, carry on on your path, and you will definitely meet with success. Say this mantra: Om Nish Kamae Namaha. This whole fortnight, 108 times at least in one day. Om Nish Kamae Namaha. Nalakshi, you must do that. Okay. Okay. So. Um, Yes, but the love front is great. Uh -huh. In fact, you have a choice. Okay. <laughs> so you have a choice between two or maybe more. Okay. So love, uh, love is in the air for you. Uh -huh. Okay, so Leo, you are breaking free, firstly, from some sort of an addiction, you know, some sort of a negativity or a relationship which was very becoming very uh, toxic. So it could be with your partner, it could be with a friend. So you are breaking loose firstly on the personal front uh, for some of you. And for some of you it may be just an addiction. Maybe if you were you know into smoking a lot. So, so Leo's is a good good fortnight for breaking addictions. And do that, have the courage, do it and go ahead and move on. Don't, don't get you know uh, digressed from your path of moving on because once you move on you will see a lot of other things other opportunities knocking on your door this could be on your work front this could be on your personal front right so a personal front like i said it will be in a relationship that long uh, toxic relationship is about to come to an end so you need courage you need to stick it out there you need to hold on and be strong and courageous and move on this is the time when you're going to break free from this addiction or from this very toxic relationship so you want to hang on there hang in there you want it back mm. a lot of times you know when you're in two minds yeah, you're not and you can't you're not ready to let go mm. so you must let go this uh, this fortnight and you'll realize it's so much for your better and then what you can do you can chant whenever you are uh, you know tempted to get back so chant om shiri hanumate namaha I really believe in Hanumanji. He is the one who always helps you through difficult periods. Mm -hmm. And he helps you through obstacles. So Om Shri Hanumate Namaha 108 times. In fact, I would say as many times as you can throughout the day. And this will help you onto the path that you want to take. Right? So your partner, when it comes to a personal relationship, will try to manipulate you. Because the card of magician reversed. Mm -hmm. So there could be some manipulation. There could be some enticement trying to entice you back so don't do that hold on there also one card says there is going to be a clash or a feud in your family front or with your colleague in office for some of you so
so uh, be careful be choose your words very very wisely be careful what you want to say because otherwise you will be uh, you know creating a misunderstanding and that feud can prolong which will not be good for you also for uh, a lot of you uh, leos it's a learning period you learning a lot these days maybe from the from this covid experience you learning so much you know you doing other things other ways so uh, it's a learning experience some of you are also taking on that higher study course okay. so all in all it's a great period for you okay. okay great great and also guys i would say um, not every time sometimes such readings may seem to affect you that okay not everything is uh, looking too flowery but it's only a sign to take the guidance and make it work in a better way so always take it in positive light okay now let's go with virgo, virgo. yeah so virgo something is delayed you know that project which was near completion or maybe in your personal front something was near completion is going to be delayed but have patience because there is a card of love as well so whether it's your work front or it's your uh, personal front something which was about to happen or get completed so that will that's going to take time is going to happen is going to take time because it's the chariot which is reversed mm -hmm. right so the chariot is always a very auspicious card it means when it's a yes no question answer so it always means a yes so but if it is uh, reverse reverse so then it means a little a slight delay a slight glitch has come up so they like they say there's many a slip between the cup and the lip yeah. it's just that situation so nothing to take stress about just relax everything will go the way you were planning right so for workers i have to tell you this and because yes there is a beautiful card uh, the wish card so one of your wishes is also going to come true so something which you were hoping for so maybe it's linked to the same situation which i'm talking about so hold on there and uh, don't be disheartened okay. good things are happening to you also um, for you what is the mantra that i have to yeah avoid wearing black colors wear white or light colors mm -hmm. you know so black sometimes uh, blocks your chakras so maybe your chakras could be a little blocked so you could also do a little bit of a you know deep breathing or a yoga whatever your regimen is so try and spend some time with yourself that's very important and also to balance your chakras on this channel we have uh, many chakra meditation variation videos so you can definitely try one of those yeah so librans are managing two things in fact maybe more you are multitasking and you are quite confident you doing it well the only thing is sometimes some things are going awry because obviously whenever you multitask some things go wrong you know so uh, i would say continue because you have the potential you have the talent to uh, do many things at a time but try and balance things out a bit yeah and especially try and balance your home front with your work with your office work so uh, also this is a full card so the full card uh, librans means uh, a new beginning so something new is definitely coming your way could be a new relationship could be you are impulsively getting into something new mm -hmm. maybe somebody a colleague or a, you know a friend of yours comes and suggests something new and you are taking that leap of faith and trying you know just like a blindfold the fool card doesn't actually literally mean the fool but he is blindfolded you know so he is taking that leap of faith with full of hope and courage and confidence mm -hmm. right so it, it's a it, it's a good week a little challenging sometimes because of your too many things you are trying to handle so little challenging money wise it's okay and in fact money is coming but slow and steady okay yeah okay now we have scorpio and as requested by our viewers we have slightly more of this reading okay for scorpios there is a lot of stress your nerves are wrought with a lot of stress and i feel what you need to do is calm your nerves also because you are literally shining in the work front things are really good for you because you have the emperor card so the emperor means new responsibilities new work maybe a jump in your assignment uh, a promotion of sorts added 
responsibility or some of you got that new plum job which which is really a coveted job you can say so uh, that is why so maybe because of the excitement too much happening the, your nerves are quite raw mm -hmm. so you need to uh, what you could do is hear some music very light like the kinds you use for your yes. meditation videos very light meditation videos um, uh, music sorry and meditate with that you could also meditate with crystals okay you know like keep them in your uh, uh, palm and uh, sit in a lotus position and meditate please do this at least 10 minutes every day and then things will really go for you well you'll see you know because in a calm state of mind when you're calm in your mind you you know you perform much better right. don't you think so yes so scorpios you must things are going the going is very good for you like i said few few even got a new assignment new job new responsibilities but you must calm your nerves and for that do the meditation mm -hmm. okay so uh, also for some of you a new venture like i said new job so new venture money is very good in fact this fortnight money is good uh, small, uh, yeah, yeah. Another uh, important thing is that you are trying to self sabotage yourself. You're doing well. Why are you um, questioning yourself? You know, so self sabotage. You're you're trying to think negative and there's nothing to think negative about. Yeah. So because that's the moon card, it's it's calm. Okay. Reverse. So you are self sabotaging your own happiness, your own life, and which is going perfectly fine right now. Because you also have the sun card. So some of you may be planning a travel as well. Which is not so advisable. Right now. <laughs> yeah. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, there's a card which says an unclear communication. You know, a communication which has created a misunderstanding. That, because this is a swords card, it is reversed. Yeah, so that could be corrected. It will happen on its own, unexpectedly. So, uh, obviously you have to also plan on how to make the make, make the best of this situation that you have created yourself. Uh, it's been a misunderstanding between you and your partner or maybe your colleague or your you and your boss. So, uh, there, there is a solution and it will come so unexpectedly to you that you'll be surprised mm -hmm. and you'll be happy about it. Great. Okay, but you are feeling very trapped and miserable. I think all of us are feeling a little because of maybe you not being able to go out a lot, reach out to your friends, um, you know, it's not just the physical aspect, but even from your mind, there is something, it may be in a relationship for some of you, you're feeling trapped with your emotions, mm -hmm. right? And otherwise, yes, physically also we are trapped, we can't travel, we don't party, you know, so this is just a phase, you're going to tide through it, yeah, and uh, rest is all fine for you, Sagittarius. Just go with simple OM chants. Do OM, deep OM, for five minutes as as long as you can. Okay. So that will be great for you. So let's see what is there in store for Capricornians. Capricornians, wow, there's money card. Very so good. there's stability. After a long time, not long time, I would say after a, quite some period, uh, you've been you're going to be feeling very secure and happy and stable. Mm -hmm. So those of you also had some kind of a disturbance in their relationship are going to feel stable. Okay. That's as well as money wise there is stability. Also you are ruling the roost, the queen of swords. You are ruling the roost in your home front. Those of you are working in your office front. And the other card is the ace of wands. That's the great card. So for creative people this is a very very good period. So Capricornians who are in the creative line, like you are Nilakshi, mm -hmm. so uh, you know, making films, videos, maybe artists. Mm -hmm. So they're going to do very well and hone their skills now. Now is the time for them to hone their skills. Mm -hmm. So one card says that uncertainty is inevitable. That's that's a part of life. So we all have to face certain changes, certain uncertainty, but then. Because, because change is inevitable, so that's why you're feeling this uncertainty. Because mm -hmm. maybe there's a change on the horizon. But it says this card that follow your heart, follow through through your, um, uh, your uh, intuition mm -hmm. rather than your emotion or your head. Just listen to your intuition and you will hit the right spot. You know, so you'll know what to do with it. If you just go with your intuition 
and the uncertainty will vanish because you take the right decision through your intuition. And now we let's uh, read for Aquarius. Aquarius, it's the death card. Now the death card is not. It looks scary, but it's not <laughs> scary. Scared. Yeah. Yeah. It means a new phase is beginning. Yes. One phase is getting over, and a new phase is beginning. Like I had said, even for the earlier sign, that uh, uh, you know, change is inevitable. Right. So here again, it's not like a change, but it's like one thing getting over, and a new thing. It's and it's going to be a very easy transition for you because the next card says, because you are going to be introspective. So, you know, now you are going to be pointing your finger inwards. What is introspection? When you look within and see what was that you were not doing so uh, correctly that the, you know, the outcome was not so correct. So, therefore, you will change that, either that attitude or that action you have taken. So, therefore, you will introspect and you will better yourself. So, this change and this new phase is for the betterment. Great. Right? So, you should welcome this. Uh, death card because something new is beginning. Yes. And also it can mean transition. Hmm. Also it means transition from one thing to another. To another. And, and it's a smooth transition. And it's an easy transition. Yes. Yeah. So you're lucky to have a smooth transition. Also because there's the happiness card. So, so on the emotional front, your family front, you're getting a lot of support and you're celebrating some occasions, maybe you know an engagement in the family, a childbirth in the family. So family is it's a happy family life right now in this uh, fortnight but it's just that the change and the change is going to be smooth so there is nothing to nothing to yeah so that was aquarius so give also give positive affirmations because it's a period of transition and change so give positive affirmations whenever you give negative affirmations i keep telling my clients also it somehow comes in your universe it comes in your environment yes. yeah it comes in the ether so Try and whenever you think a negative thought, try and correct it with a positive affirmation. Correct. That really works and especially for you guys. So Aquarians, if you are looking for more positive affirmations, we have uh, plenty of those on this channel and also how you are transforming your reality with your subconscious mind. So do use that. Next, let's move to the next one. That's the last one. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so that is the Pisces. Yeah. So Pisces are feeling very lazy. Mm -hmm. Or I won't say lazy, <laughs> maybe distracted. They are distracted with something, so therefore uh, things are not moving on the way they should have been. Even on the money front, uh, you see the the money card has come reversed. Mm -hmm. So there is money. They are working hard and there are they are expecting money, but there is a delay. So the money is coming, but after a little delay and push aside laziness. This card says and distraction. So try and concentrate and try and focus please uh, instead of being distracted by one or two or three or many other things. Mm -hmm. So focus uh, in the family front, on your family, uh, in the work front, on that one particular thing which you know, want to achieve really in this fortnight. And uh, something is slipping away, something is moving away, something is going away. So this card says don't hold on to it, eight of cups reverse, let it go. It's for your better. So if it's in a relationship, maybe, maybe just a, you know a negative pattern in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Let it fall back because let it fall away because then it will bring a fresh start, uh, a fresh lease of life into your relationship, right? And if it is something on the work front, then do uh, let it go, let it go because you're getting onto something even better. Yeah, so you're feeling a little, uh, you know, fearful of something, you know, so it's it's just a cycle, it's just a karmic thing. So I suggest you could say, Om Mani Padma Hum. Okay. Om Mani Padma Hum, this will help you, it will calm you, it will take away that stress and that worry which is in your mind about something. Right, so Om Mani Padma Hum is your mantra 108 times at least, at least. Yeah, in a day. So that's all for our predictions. So we will meet you again, I think, in the next fortnight. So we will be back with another fortnightly reading with Rashmi. And uh, any of you who wants to have a little lengthier version of their reading can send in your questions and DM us. Besides that, I request all, all my viewers to like this, 
comment on this, share this video as much as you can and subscribe to it to stay updated about your next fortnightly reading. Till then, goodbye, namaste.